What up, peeps? Kenji Drifties in the building. I'm here to bring you guys some Modern Warfare gameplay video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on what I think about Modern Warfare based off the beta. Right now, the beta is going on right now. So for many people who don't got the beta or who have not played the beta yet, I recommend getting on that thing because it is the truth right now. It is fun. It does have a little bit of a problem, but I am going to get into it with that. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Now, starting off with the very first thing, you know, actually, I'm just going to run on. First off, the game is great. The game is fucking fun. I love Modern Warfare. It's a fun game. It does have a little bit of a problem. It is stressful, like any other Call of Duty game. But in reality, it's a fun game. It plays just like COD, kind of. Even though the mechanics and the gameplay style is a little bit different from what we're so used to in the previous Call of Duties, it is. it does give off a Battlefield-ish type of a vibe in my in my personal opinion and a little bit of rainbow six just just because of how the gameplay style is played and then how it feels but in reality it still feels like call of duty even though it has similar aspects of how rainbow and battlefield plays it still feels like a call of duty game like the feel still feels the same it plays different but it, it, it's still smooth overall i feel like it worked to it works best but it still have a little bit of issues that that wish they can fix now starting off the first thing that i do that bothers me the most is the spawning system the spawning system is very frustrating reason why because i hate when i die and i gotta wait for three to four seconds just to spawn into a match that is very irritating they need to bring it back and make the respawn a lot faster or at least be able to press press square and just go straight into the game and then speaking of the square button i don't know why they thought it was a great idea to put in the profile thing as that button on the spawning system it's so annoying no one wants no one cares about clicking on the profile to add somebody or anything like that yes it's a little bit faster if you want to talk crap to a person or if you just want to quick add them but in reality it's annoying it's very annoying since i'm so used to pressing the square button to to get out of the kill cam and just go straight into the game since that is the profile button it, it, it throws off everything and on top of that playstation runs slow shit sometimes and it gets stuck on the loading screen i hate that like I hate it to impact. I hate it. I hate it for. I hate it to an extent. It's so irritating. I wish for Activision or Infinity War. Please fix the spawning system. Make the spawning better. Make us be able to get into the game faster than to look in the sky for four seconds and wait and get ready to the game. It kills the flow. It makes it's fucking frustrating. I can't stand it. Y'all need to fix that right away. And on top of that, the spawning system in general is pretty trash. Like I hate when I spawn and soon I spawn in, I die right away. That's very annoying in this COD. They need to fix all that. Hopefully they fix it when the full game come out. Even though it is the beta, the beta is practically the full game. We all we all obviously know that. They gotta fix the bugs and all that type of stuff. But those one of those things are very, very frustrating. A second thing is gunfights. The gunfights in this game is pretty fast. Don't get me wrong, the gunfight is fast, but it's stressful as hell. For some reason, when I get that first shot off, even though this is happens to all to a lot of CODs, I mean it rarely happened in COD 4, the original one in World at War and also Modern Warfare 2. But when you get that first shot off, you die instantly. I don't know how that worked. I wish they fixed that. That is very frustrating. If I shoot the person all the way up and he's almost dead, I should be able to win that gunfight. There should be no way that he should win that gunfight if I shot him up when he's like one shot. That's not cool. They need to fix that. It's so irritating because this Call of Duty has a lot of deaths that leave you confused. It leaves you confused and you kind of question how the fuck did that happen to me? And that's one of the biggest issues that I have about it like it's just it's just weird how that happens it's the kill cams the kills it just don't make sense sometimes it, it can be a little bit of a you know a little bit of a stretch on how you die i just hope that they kind of fix that up and make it a little bit smoother or at least make it more sense but i do know that it is due to internet connection depending on how good your internet is that could work but it's just i don't know it's just i hate how that happens there's a lot of bullshit ways that you can die in this game and it don't it just don't work out cool and another thing is the claymores they need to make the claymores make the claymores more visible the claymores are way too small you cannot see when you're going to go through a door and you're going to get blown up for a claymore you can't see it. it's too small they made it very small in this cod it's not as big and bulky how claimers were back in Modern for two or in black ops or anything like that it's just i feel like the claimers are a lot smaller this time around in this call of duty i don't know why it just seems smaller you can't see it and you easily die right away i just i wish i hope that they do fix that and make it a little bit bigger and bulkier just to make it more noticeable to see but it's not really, it's not, it, I don't know, it, it's a little bit straight. It's kind of irritating when you die by that. I just hope that they do fix that and make it a lot better. Hopefully they have sit rep or something that you can see enemy equipment because that right there is very frustrating. You need to make it a lot more noticeable so you can know when not to go through the door. And another thing is Ghost. Ghost is by far the most overpowered perk that's in Modern Warfare right now. 
I cannot stress it enough. For some reason, Infinity War games always had an issue with their ghost and their cold-blooded system. I don't know what the hell is up with Infinity War with that, but they need to bring it back to the Treyarch roots. You should not be able to camp and not be able to be seen on a radar. You need to be able to move in order for ghosts to be activated. I don't know why. I just I can't stress it enough. I cannot stand the campers in this game, and that's another thing I'm going to get into contact with that. But they need to fix ghosts to where you can be able to not be standing and camping all game. You got to move. You have to move. It has to be a movable type of uh, type of perk. You know what I mean? In order for ghosts to be activated, you need to move. You need to always move and flow. Camping, you should be seen on the radar automatically. They need to take away how overpowered ghosts. They need to fix that and make it a lot, a lot more reasonable. Because like I said before, it's irritating uh, me running through a door and I get, I get. You know, I get I get blown by get blown away by a guy that's camping in the corner because he has ghost on. They need to fix that. They need to get rid of it. They need to, or they need to make some approval or make some adjustments with it because that is irritating. They need to fix that. Another thing is the camping. I cannot stress it enough on how stressful camping is in modern warfare. They need to fix the camping in this. They need to make it. I don't know what it is they need to do, but the camping needs. They need to add like some destructible buildings. Go to battlefield. You feel me? Make buildings destructible or something like that to where people don't have to camp. Because in this Call of Duty, they camp hard. Hard man camp is like everybody's last name in this shit. I swear to God, modern warfare is a camp fest. I hope that they fix it. I do blame the maps. The maps can be, uh, does play a little bit of part in the whole camping system because you can climb on roofs and roofs and uh, rooftops and all that type of stuff. So it makes it a lot easier for pl players to go from building to building and all that other crap. But and then on top of that, a lot of the buildings and stuff are dark areas, so people tend to camp in there. But I hope that they fix the camping system in this game. I hope they make it to where you cannot always camp in certain areas. You should get punished for camping for too long. But camping is one of the biggest issues that's in this game right now, and I feel like a lot of people can agree with me on that. So I hope that they do fix that and to make it, you know, at least do some type of adjustment to make the camping system, you know, fix it up a little bit to make people not camp. Like, like definitely fix that. The maps are pretty decent. The maps are good. Some maps play some maps play better than others, obviously. That the desert Afghanistan map, whatever, is fucking irritating. It's the, well, the shittiest map in the game. I hate it with a passion. I cannot stand it. I hate spawning into the cave. The cave is trash. I just wish that they disband that map automatically. I cannot stand that map, and I will not play that map. I will definitely skip that map anytime. But overall, the map flows pretty decent. It, it's okay. It could be better. Uh, the maps are pretty big in this Call of Duty. Not it's uh, it's kind of it's not really it's kind of it's a little bit bigger than uh, Black Ops 4's maps in my opinion. It's not it's just a little bit larger than usual. Which is not too much of a problem. I mean, hopefully that in a few the other maps get a little bit cut down, just a little bit, but. The maps are pretty decent. They flow pretty good. Like I said, some are better than others. The desert map is trash. Will forever be trash. And overall, the maps are cool. I just can't wait to see what the other maps is in the game and how they, you know, what they do to them. But they flow okay. It's mediocre. Mediocre. It's better than BO4 maps by far. But I hope they fix it in the long run. And the guns are great. The sound design is great. Kill streaks are loud as hell. By far, kill streaks are loud. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that they thought. That. I know they're going for a realistic ad, a realism, you know, thing for Call of Duty. But man, kill streaks are loud as hell, especially the jets and all that other stuff. That is very loud. But overall, the game is great. I love everything about it. I think the sound bill is just—it's kind of hard to hear footsteps in this Call of Duty. A little bit harder because everything is so loud. There's so much stuff happening in this Call of Duty. A lot of things, a lot of shots, a lot of camping. There's just so much stuff. It's very overwhelming with this Call of Duty on maps. And I hope that they kind of fix the audio a little bit more to where you can be able to hear footsteps at least. But for some reason, audio is not your best friend in this Call of Duty because everything is just so loud and everything is so overwhelming in this COD. So it makes a lot more it makes it a little harder to focus and actually have you know to actually pay attention and just be able to hear what's going on because sometimes people could come from behind you and camp you and blow you back and all that other crap so i just feel like if they fix the audio to where it's not too loud and where it's a little bit balanced with the footsteps and all that other stuff then our headphones would be a lot more useful but right now they try to ear rape you you can't hear things the kill streaks are loud as crap they will blow your fucking eardrums out if you have your shit loud enough and overall i just wish that i just hope that they kind of fix the audio list a little bit more but overall the audio is beautiful it's perfect i love it just balance it out with the footsteps so we can hear things or hear what's coming to us so we can know what's going on so we can be more aware but 
Overall, the Call of Duty is great. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a very fun Call of Duty. I cannot wait till the full game to come out. I'm excited for campaign. Multiplayer is good. Like I said, it has a little bit of problems. Hopefully, when the full game drops and they listen to the community, they fix certain things with this game. And I hope that it's, you know, it, we can have a great Call of Duty this year. But I'm, I'm so excited for when it comes out. And the beta is lit. I'm loving every bit of it. It's a little bit stressful, just like every other Call of Duty. But overall, it's a fun game. But there you guys have it. That is my opinion. That's what I think. And that's my thoughts about Modern Warfare, the new one. Cannot wait for it to come out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe if you have not already. More great videos coming soon. Going to be more active on my channel. Going to be bringing a lot more dope content. Get ready because October's coming. It's going to be Halloween month, baby. We'll be dropping a lot more horror videos for you guys. So stay tuned with that. And it's going to be dope. So I hope you guys enjoy it. More great videos coming soon. And I'll see y'all in the next one.